In FutureCam 2019, users now have the ability to change the included angle of a center drill. Furthermore, users have the ability to alter the tip angle of the center drill tool, allowing the user to create a center drill which can produce different sizes of chamfer. Here we have an example of an automotive slump plate with multiple drilling and center drilling operations. To begin with, we performed a 3D simulation using the solid as a part compare target. As we can see, the hole at 90 degrees is within tolerance as the chamfer is green. However, the large hole on the top and the pattern hole around the sides are not. Therefore, we need to rectify this using the new feature allowing the included angle to be changed. If we look at our NC code, the Z value generated of minus 15.95 millimeters should change once the included angle has been amended. To identify the angles of the chamfers which need amending, we can use the new curvature dimension tool, which by selecting the top surface of the hole and hovering over another section of the draft, we can see in the bottom left hand corner, this gives us a draft angle of 30 degrees for the top hole and for one of the pattern holes around the side, an angle of 41 degrees. To cut the chamfers to the desired angles, we must create a new tool or select one already available capable of cutting the required chamfer angle. Using the original parameters, we can create a similar tool using a value of 60 degrees in the new dialog box for included angle in the tool's properties. Furthermore, if we wanted to alter the tip angle of the sensor drill to provide a more accurate representation of the machining process, it is possible to do so using the new tip angle dialog. For now, however, though, we will just adjust the included angle. Creating a new sensor drill as shown on the left hand graphic which cuts a 30 degree chamfer. I'll also rename the tool to reference that this is a 60 degree included angle tool. We can repeat the process with the patterns of holes around the part by selecting a new tool already created capable of cutting the 41 degree chamfer. We can now perform another 3D simulation, which uses the same processes, however this time it utilizes the different tools to cut the chamfers to the correct sizes. We can now zoom in on this aspect of the part again, and perform another part compare. We can now see that all the holes are now in tolerance. Now if we go into our NC code, we should be able to see a difference in the Z value, as seen here, of a Z of minus 17.231 compared to the value before of minus 15.95. Therefore, not only has FutureCam shown that the part is within tolerance, it has also adjusted the NC code accordingly.